welcome back in guys not easy and for today we are going to play Pippa and your phantasmal problem well don't forget guys leave a like and subscribe for me to reach more viewers and in order, in order for me to make more videos for you guys also anyway let's start the game and see how the story is going what's your name okay it is asking us for our name I'm gonna go with my name, of course. No, no, it's easier. Okay, oh no. She doesn't sound happy. What is it about now? What's wrong, ma'am? Okay, I bet we got ourselves into trouble. Look at this. It is easier. She points up well. She points. I follow the direction of her fingers and see a patch of dirt on the floor. Oh no. Not on her carpet. That the worst place in the house to find dirt. Oh, I can't help it. I cannot help it. Explain. I have no idea. I've been in the backyard since this morning. Yeah, we didn't do anything, sister. Then who do you think would dare enough to soil my great grandmother precious peacock glue to carpet? Don't. Uh, your precious grandmother yeah, okay. I don't think I can we can do that. What in the world am I supposed to say? Miss Easter won't stop nagging about this until it's solved. Well unfortunately I don't have a salvation for that. I really have no idea, ma'am. Do you think it's that thing? That thing You know that the thing that's been happening these past two weeks Random patches of dirt on in unexpected places, pillows all over the place, and ceramic vases knocked down to the floor. It keeps happening without any responsible explanation at the most random of times. The thought makes me shudder. Are you talking about ghosts again? Uh oh. Well, you have to believe us, ma'am. There is no other uh, other explanation other than ghosts. Well, how else can we explain all the mess that keeps happening around here? Well, we have no explanation for that unfortunate. Nonsense. How many times have I told you there is no ghost in this place? Do you guys believe in ghosts? Because I do believe in ghosts also. Because I can see them. Father, Father Romeo blesses the house regularly and he never mentioned anything of the sort. I do not believe in that old bug. But he really Okay, she did say it. He really old, you know. His mind is far gone. Not a single word of disrespect or to Father Romeo anymore, Nori. I'm just telling the truth. Anyway, believe me, ma'am. Something has been off in this house recently. It's still autumn, but I get chill that are colder than ice sometimes. Maybe you are right. There is a ghost. Since you feel that way. Really? It's normal for it to be chilly at this time of the year. I don't feel anything out of ordinary. Or well, maybe because you are a s okay, strict woman. No, ma'am. This is different. It has to be the. Those ghosts. Those ghosts. They remind me of the ghost buster that you called in before. But also didn't find anything either, did they? Oh, well, uh, they lied to us, I think. They weren't cheap, Nori. Remember who paid for them? <laughs> Unfortunately, two months is my salary in advance. But that was their payment. But there is no way I'm going to point that out. Especially when Miss Easter is in bad mood like now. Damn it. Anyway, I'll not be hearing more excuses, Nori. Ma'am, please hear me out. I've been in the backyard and nobody has came over today. Not even the neighbor's golden retriever. That reminds me, I haven't seen her in a while. There should be an explanation for that. That filthy fury monster who is only too happy to destroy my garden and dig up my... Petunis, 
petunias. She was sorry about it, man. Well, you have to believe her, man. Huh? Are you taking her side now? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Masisa continues to nag me about her poor putinis, which you are dying anyway with me in such a rage. Okay, is she met her flower? Petonius, Petonius, Petonius. That's how you say it? Yeah. Well, it was dying anyway. Why do you care that much? Suddenly, her eyes light up. Well, this might be a good time to refresh my backyard. I should go to the town. Some potted asters. Asters would be lovely additional. Oh, you are like my mom. She loves gardening. And flowers. Also, I'm going to meet with a few friends for so long. Do girls time? Do you girls time? Okay, okay. You can, you can spend your quality time. You know that what you do? You know what to do? Yes, ma'am. I will make sure that your carpet is fluffy and free from any importance by the time you return. The house will be as neat as pen. Can I trust you in the house sitting for a few days, Nori? Of course, ma'am. Should you disappoint me, I will take it upon myself to find more a capable caretaker. Okay, we are out of the house if we don't do our job. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm the best person you can find to do this. I will not disappoint you. These are no nodes, and soon after that she goes to her room, get her stuff. She's going to her to get her backpack well because she want to travel and I am feeling hot I need some yeah I need some what do you call it fan the rain stopped not long after that the missy leaves with her small suitcase I follow her in the side of the road to the side of the road while she tries to hail a taxi fortunately one arrived it's specialist it splashes some mud on her skirt. I can see her eye twitching. <laughs> Imagine that poor taxi driver will have one hell of a drive with her. Non stop nag. Poor guy. Oh, right, I forgot. Oh, what did you forgot, man? What is it, man? I don't want to hear a single word more about those so called ghosts when I get back. Uh, I want this problem to be gone. Forever. Do you understand? Yes. If this thing still happened by then, you are out of my house. Well, I don't have patience for all of this nonsense anymore. No, please have a heart, ma'am. I don't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, we don't have anywhere else to go. Winter is approaching. You are not that cold, are you? Yes, ma'am. You aren't that cold, right? The ghosts aren't as scary as being homeless during the winter, are they? Woman, I hate her. Yes, ma'am, please have a mercy. I've been patient, Nori. If you can't solve this, I'll find a more capable caretaker to do it. Sure about that? I don't think they can save other. I mean, the other nan. Um, not the nannies. I mean, the, the other caretakers can solve the issue for you. Because it's some kind of a ghost issue, and we haven't found the right person to fix it for us. Says it's giving me headache. I'm leaving now. Okay, you can leave now. Yes, ma'am. You need our pay peace anyway. <laughs> Make sure nothing and no one inflicts for their harm on my great grandmother carpet. Okay. I will triple check the locks every night. I won't sleep a blink if needed. Yeah. Like I said, I won't disappoint you. You had better not. I will see you in two days. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go somewhere else in two days. Have a safe trip, ma'am. <sighs> this is a frustration. It is frustration. How am I supposed to solve whatever have been chaotic this mess? I'm touching to lose. I remember it thought on that day after a huge rainstorm. A loud noise started both of us with Easter. Screamed and I scal scaled my lips on my hot teeth. Scal 
क्या बोलते डॉक्टर के हेर ग्रीन फादर इम्पोर्टेड सेरमन वैज इन द अदर रूम पाउट ऑफ द फ्लोर एंड शार्ट आउट ऑफ नोवे वी थॉट दैट समन ब्रोक इन विदाउट आस नोट सिंग सो वी कॉल द पुलिस टू रिपोर्ट अ पोटेंशियल क्राइम वाओ Oh my dear, I'm investigating. There is no evidence of anyone having broken in, and there was nobody inside the house other than us. The police officers officer said that the vase must have toppled over on its own, perhaps because of a small earthquake or a change in the air pressure. Ah, uh, probably. The Caesar occupied it, but I thought that made no sense. Why had the Caesar crystal figure remained intact? They were much lighter. Hmm. I accepted money. Give me that. Money. They were much lighter. Okay, this is a such stupid reason for them to make it out for us. There were many other things that could have been proven. The police officer's statement. It was frustration. Sadly, I have no choice but to move on, since I couldn't think of a better explanation myself. One of the officers cracked a joke about ghosts, then started to laugh. They weren't being serious, but the possibility stayed with me. Ah, oh, okay. As more mischief happened around the house. Became even more confident, convinced that this wasn't convinced or the doing of a human. Ah, oh. I tried so hard to figure out who was the culprit, staying awake the whole night, setting up traps. None worked. Since the police officer refused to take me seriously. I went to the other side of the town to help for help. Okay, who are those? This group of ghost bosses were extremely shady, but they were the only ones who were willing to listen to me. Okay, they fooled you, girl. I convinced Miss Easter that they could help us. To my disappointment, however, they came and left soon after. Okay. This is beyond me. I should ask for help, proper help. Not those police officers. They stopped taking me seriously. Not those ghostbusters, and definitely not Father Romeo. He doesn't even remember my name, right? Yeah, I guess so, girl. I have I have to find someone who meets two criteria. Firstly. They can't make fun of me after hearing what I have to say. Well, we have to find that person, which is I don't know where we gonna find it. Secondly, they need to be able to help me rather than simply taking my money, like the Ghostbuster did to you. If only there was somebody who could explain how that huge ceramic vase toppled it over, my, over by itself. Or how the large patch of dirt could. Materialize out of nowhere. The worst place possible. <laughs> Could be. It is a ghost. We, we just you can't. You just can't see her. See it. With all of this mud everywhere after that rain, it is probably a stupid thing. But nobody has been able to explain the falling vase or the other mess. <sighs> I really don't want to be homeless this winter. Well, let's try and. Solve this mystery, then. Whoops! I must have stopped on something solved. Ew! It's probably wait a minute. This? What's this? A hand? Help! Did I just hear something? Oh, help! Pull me out! I can hear pleading, trembling voice as the dirty hand emerge from the ground. It looks like a zombie. Okay, how did the how did this person got inside the ground? That side gave me creep. Help it, ignore it. If I help you, I'm gonna save first. Let me save. Yeah, we should save there. P. 
because that means this Easter ain't gonna help us anyway. But what if I help? Without thinking much, I reach out to the hand and give it a pull. It isn't too hard to have it up. The mud makes it a bit hard to get my footing. But whoever trapped down where is pretty light. Okay, she is pretty light. On the third count, we cautiously eventually succeed. But gosh, was this person trying to dig on someone? <laughs> Great. You, you, what are you? What were you trying to do? Ah, thank you so much. I thought I was going to be stuck there forever. How are you going to be stuck on the ground? Seriously, how did you? I'm trying to escape. <laughs> what are you doing? Why, why are you trying to escape? I was, um, I was like taking something. <laughs> anyway, okay, this girl, you are weird too. Anyway, the house owners found out and they chased me away. They were too so mean. Even what the? That's crime. They have to chase you away. Yeah, they have to just chase you and capture you. I'm not going to help a thief out. I'm going <laughs> to call the police. Please don't call them. If you're fishy, need our help. As I'm about to go and call the police officer, I'm reminded of how humiliating the last encounter with the police, with the police officer with the police was humiliating. Okay. For a moment, I feel like helping this little thief. <sighs> okay, honestly, I really don't want to be associated with criminal. I'm in bench in a bench myself. Oh, don't worry. I will return the favor to anybody who helps me. <laughs> but with that attitude, even me can I can't trust you girl. It's weird, but I don't feel any hostility from her. I guess anybody can can be criminal nowadays. She must have her own circumstance circumstances. Maybe she's in a pinch as well. Probably. Forget about it. Just scram. You don't want to be caught. Don't you? Yeah, you don't want to be cut, don't you? Right. Though, on the bright side, jail isn't that bad. You at least have wood and a roof above you. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't sound like a, such a bad idea. That probably my brain making plan Z. Just in case Miss Easter really does kick me out. <laughs> well, that's our, our last resolve, girl. Okay, she is panicking now. No, I don't want to go to jail. I've seen the outfit and they look horrible. Aren't you wearing the same color also? Orange color? And you are saying it look horrible. I can't see. I can't wear something so uncute. Those would make me look bad. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. She is panicking now. But she sure has her pearl choice, right? Whatever, I have to go now. Bye. Well, she has to go. Wait, wait. What is it? I can't help you more than this. I have my own problems to solve too. It's not that I just wanted to ask you. Hmm. What do you want you to ask? I get the feeling that she attracts trouble wherever she goes. She exactly the ca that kind of person I have to stay away from. But. When I see her smoothing out her muddy clothes and sniffling, I can't help but feel sorry for her. No, I can't afford to feel sorry for others. My future self will beat me if I make myself homeless. If you can't call him, lend me a dollar or two, I will return it. Promise. Sure, but I, call. I don't think you're gonna return it. No, oh, okay. Her stomach is growing. I've been eating for a month. When was it? <laughs> okay, she's crying. You are acting weird, girl. She does look really beautiful. She covered in mud from head to toe and she's sopping wet like a rag. Her skinny rice, which I grabbed earlier, makes it obvious that she doesn't have the luxury of eating often. Anyway, she reminded me of myself a year ago before Miss Easter hired me. 
Why haven't you eaten anything recently? Oh, I remember. I got my fowl this morning. This morning, you say? That's not very long ago, is it? Huh? Wait a minute. Those show my wallet was in my pocket. Oh, she would have it. Where is she? It's been a while since I saw. Okay. Ooh. -hoo. Wait, wait. Calm down. Tell me who you are looking at. Katie, of course, my best friend. Where is she? She must have been. She must be cold and wet, and very, very sad. Oh, okay, you are worried about your friend. Poor thing. <laughs> Fine, girl. I don't think I can be so heartless to just let you walk, okay? If you can convince me that you are trustworthy, I'll take you somewhere to eat. You hear me, girl? She will take us somewhere to eat. Okay, fine. Let's do it. For the sake of this girl, of course. I don't think I can be so heartless to just leave her. Okay, girl, okay, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna load. I wanna do something first. What if I ignore it? I should ignore it. There are more origin matters thing on me. I don't have the energy to get involved in anything so creepy. Well, come think of it. All of a sudden, a scary possibility downs on me. What if the, this creature gets inside, then track more mud around the house? Well, I'm sure that I've locked the door. I could very well be dealing with a supernatural. Will locking the door be enough to keep it out? I should return home as soon as I can. I can't let anybody soil my sister carpet again. Fortunately, the interior of the house is as spotless as it was. When Miss Easter left, okay, good thing our copy is clean because we don't want to make Miss Easter angry. She was only two days, however, so I doubt I'll be able to get hit the bottom of this in time. Even so, I should try to do my best for the sake of a warm, snuggle winter. Okay, the next day, strong, strangely, we were made the mess. In the house yesterday, didn't do it again today. Okay, that's good for us. We are safe. We are in a safe place. I triple checked the locks at night and the spotless windows are tightly shut as always. Hmm. The freshly scrubbed, it, scrubbed carpet is clean and fluffy. And the surviving bases are still standing. Okay, good thing her everything is okay. It seems like the mysterious problem has magically solved itself. You see, sir, I'll be happy to hear about this, and I can keep my job. I'll be guaranteed to have a warm winter. We are going and we can guarantee that uh, we put ourselves in the house and we need to stay in the house. But uh, what's going on? Okay, we are doomed. This is a huge mess. And oh no, today is the day of my Easter return. Oh, frick it, we are doomed. It rained heavily last night, so any suspicious, suspicious sound were muffled by the falling water. Let's see how much damage has been has done this time. In addition to yet another abstract mud painting on Miss Easter carpet, one more vase is in pieces. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm pretty sure we're gonna put outside the house. Some pillows have been thrown on the floor, though they seem clean enough, and the furniture is all misplaced. Frick, this is really frustrating. I should clean things up before Miss Easter returns. Oh, oh, this is bad. Nori, where are you? Oh, okay, 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 there she is, Miss Easter. The devil. I'm here, ma'am. Welcome back. I will get you a cup of warm tea. She starts talking about various things. How big of a discount she got from an antique shop. Oh, okay. About her best friend whom she hates and her chihuahua that she hates even more that she carries 
all the time. Though she hated her best friend dog, she also complained about how noisy the neighborhood she passed was on her way back. Those girls were wearing extremely tight bodysuit costumes with oh, thick rabbit ears on their heads. How could their parents allow them to wear scandalous get-ups like that? Such indecency. Okay, woman. And you say yourself you are indecent, woman. They must have been attending the costume party. Well, I don't think you are indecent. You, you are wearing blue all over. Even your eyes are blue. And your furniture also are blue. Everything is are blue in air. Uh, in air. Anyway, they must have been attending the costume party at the town hall. They do that every year. They do it every year. Okay, okay that's event for every year. This is her. Sips her scalding hot tea and continues complaining silently. She pauses. Wait a minute. Is that a vase? No, two vases missing. I forget. it. Yeah, I guess I was naive to hope she would you notice that mm, they fell down this morning. Well, at least they were some of my cheaper vases. Were you being careless again? It, it wasn't me, someone did it. Oh snap, I should have just said it, it was me. Now Miss Isar will be reminded of the problem again. Like we are doomed. <laughs> she must know I've been not... I've not been able to solve anything yet, Mrs. X. Okay. No. Have you not made any progress solving this problem? Ma'am, please listen to me. It doesn't make any sense. It was very calm yesterday. There is no sign of anyone entering the house, I swear. Yeah, you should, you should believe us. You didn't do anything to prevent this from happening. Well, I did, it didn't happen yesterday, so I thought, um, I see. You just... Want me to deal with all this mess now? I want. I see. So you just want me to No, ma'am. I've been trying to ha so hard. I've been extra alert. This. I'm losing my mind. There are no clues, no sign, nothing. I suppose it is time to find somebody more capable to solve this for me. Then there is no way. Someone can ever disappoint me more than you have now. Sorry guys, my mic fell off. I'll see you off in an hour with your belonging now. Go, chop chop. Okay, I hate you Miss Easter. She's heartless. And she is now kicking us because we couldn't solve the problem for her. Fine, being here is exhausting anyway. It's our loss, not mine. Anywhere is better than this. I've never had that many belongings. So packing myself doesn't take more than 10 minutes. After passing the house key back to Miss Easer, I leave the house big rooch jingly. Okay, we are sad. I failed to solve this and I even got fired, but at least I've been freed from that. Oh, the phantasmal problem. Phantasmal problem, you say. I must have made some bad choices in my life. But it was... It is what it is. It is time to find a different place to stay. Perhaps I can stop by. Okay, that's fine. They should have free flowing snacks and drinks. At the very least, I won't stop tonight. Uh, good thing, good, good. You can go that. Ending. Out of job. Out of house. Out of the phantasmal problem. Story art programming. Kuyashi. Oh, okay. There you go, guys. This is our first ending. We got our first ending. Okay, I'm gonna load. Let's load from last time. Okay, we did save her. If you can convince me that you are trustworthy, I'll take you somewhere to eat. For some reason, I cannot trust this girl. Ah, wait, to clarify, I'm not a thief, don't mean un don't misunderstand me. But she shakes her head from side to side, scattering droplets of rain water all over the place. 
<laughs> ok. It was rain and she was outside. She remind me of... She remind me of a wet puppy trying to dry herself. Really sad, pitiful creature. She is someone Miss Easter absolutely despise. Dirty, wet and pathetic. Oh, come on. But she has a good heart. I know that for sure. I am a witch. And witches live to help others who are in need. Others who are in need. A witch, yeah. Miss Easter absolutely hates someone like her. A witch. A uh, witch. Huh? You are a what? A witchy witch? Real girl. I'm gonna tell you that. That doesn't even look like. You don't. I do agree with you, girl. I'm not one to believe anything supernatural, especially the look doesn't convince me a bit. Well, but then goes in his only logical explanation in the mess that been happening in the house. Probably she can help us out. Meeting a witch out of the blue doesn't sound bad at all. Huh? I hear that lot. That's not compliment. Ah, uh, he thanks. I say that's not. <sighs> forgot it. You forgot it, yeah. This person who ex inex inexplicably called herself a witch is the last person I should be spending time with right now. Whoa, from the way she looked like? Yeah, I can't really trust her with anything. Regardless of whether she really is a witch or a guardian variety thief or all your guardian variety thief, there's nothing I can do about her. Forget about finding someone who can help me. I should try to solve by my own So I'm sorry, but I'm really busy. I can't stay with you for too long. I can give you some money if you need it, but I have to go now. There is still something I need to do. Oh. Is there anything I can help you with? I don't think I don't think so. I've had the police, the priest, and even the ghostbuster around to solve this. But wait a minute. An idea just came to my mind. A crazy one. Maybe this self proclaimed witch can do something about this weird the weird stuff that been happening in the house. I mean, witches do random trick, tricks and spells, don't they? Oh, that's all, that was the call to say. She's probably... Yeah, she's definitely more than helpful than the police. Please, or the ghost buster. Did you say that you're a witch? Hmm. Maybe she can help us. No, no. Can you do uh, witch stuff? I mean, magic spells or such? Yeah, girl, if you can do that, we can help you out. Some witchy stuff? Yes. First of all, I have that she's an actual witch and not just a thief trying to look. <laughs> okay, okay. If she's the real deal, I can ask for her help in, in figuring out the ghost problem at Miss Easter House. I'm certain she will appreciate some cash as well. Since she said she lost her wallet. What's your name? Pippa. Pippa? That's how should I call you? Pippa. Alright, Pippa. You are very hungry and you want something to eat, don't you? Yes, yes. I will give you some food, but you have to show me some uh, witch stuff, magic, and what have you. Okay, is this last misspelling or. I, it's written in Shama. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna read it like this. The truth is, I need some help. I am having a ghost problem in my employer house. Yeah, we are. We have some problem. If you can, we will do some magic stuff. I'll pay you to help solve them. I don't have much money, but uh, should be enough for you. Really? Really? <laughs> okay, she's really happy now. But you have to prove to me that you can really do it. The problem is, my employer house isn't something that the police or priest can solve. This peaky ghost have been bothering me and chaosing an awful mess these last few weeks. Fortune. Oh, there are some magical ways to communicate with ghosts. 
Easy peasy. Little girl. Oh, really? That's awesome. There is nothing an awesome which can't do. <laughs> uh, I still don't believe what you are saying. Can you show me what a witch... Pardon me. An awesome witch is capable of. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course. Let's see. Try um, make this leaf good slightly above the ground. This one. Okay, that's you. Oh. What? <laughs> Growl. <laughs> Can't know it. He actually. What is it? I can't do much when I'm hungry. I need some yummy food in my system to be able to cast some magic. So magic now are using your energy. Can you go and find something to eat first? <laughs> Okay, girl. As classic as I should have seen that coming. At this point, there is nothing to lose. I was about to give her some money out of pity anyway. The chance of her ex succeeding is solving in solving the house girl's problem is not something to be. Okay, I don't have much money left, but I doubt she's a big eater. Looking at how skinny she is. Let's go to a place. To a place I. Franklin's. Oh yeah, your food. Hmm. That. What's your name again? <laughs> uh, it's Nori. Nice to meet you, Nori. Nice to meet you, Nori. Likewise. Let's go. Um, please lead the way. Ah. Okay, she's. Okay. Let's hope she doesn't need that much. She can't be a witch, can she? This has to be a joke. It's not a trouble joke, though. I'm just helping out a hungry person, that's all. That's happening. I'm not failing for any cheap tricks. Who knows, by taking her to place to eat, I might find the actual solution to my problem. Hmm. It doesn't feel bad to help someone in need as well. Oh yeah, I know that. It's not a problem. Welcome, oh hi, Nori, the usual. Okay, this is the restaurant worker. They know us as you because we are. Uh, what do you call it? A usual customer. <laughs> yes. Mm. There is anything you want to eat, Pippa? Pippa, do you wanna eat something? Probably she will need something to eat. She's, she's hungry. Um, I, I'm really, really hungry, but though, do they serve. Little girl. Of course, miss. Today we have juicy steak, roasted chicken, and mapu tofu. Mapu tofu. Mm. I like tofu. What should we? We should pick something, Peppa, for you. We also have freshly baked cherry pie. Out of the oven. <gasps> cherry pie. Yes, I want cherry pie. Please. No, wait. Stop. Aren't you hungry? Why don't you choose a proper meal? But that's how cherry pie. Ah, okay, that's not a meal, that's a dessert, please. Just a tiny, a little slice of cherry pie will give you a bit. Really? I know you want it too. <sighs> okay, why? Why I'm putting up with this? I should have known it. <laughs> she would be troublesome. I'm starting to regret my choice. Let's hope we don't regret it. Okay, we should order now. Then she wants some cherry, but uh, I'm planning to go. She wanna say once well, she want that, but um, should I give her that? Or sure thing. Uh, maybe I'll add something else. Also, I'm gonna save. Let me save. She wanted that. But well, I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's go with Juicy Stick. Juicy Stick. She needs that. She's really. She really is hungry. Oh. I eat here. Oh, I eat here almost every day since the winter. And I mean, lawyer has very strict diet. She has. 
a lot of allergies, so I keep her kitchen clean from any ingredients she avoids. Okay, poor her. A better, it's better for both of us. Also, it's more lively here. It can get suffocated at home. <laughs> Why do you stay with her then? It's my job. I take care of the house, and she gives us gives us a place to stay and some spending money in return. It's not very rewarding, but I can at least fulfill my basic needs while trying to figure out what to do. I think that's a nice job, though. I would like to hear a place to stay to, to have a place. But you are a witch. Can't you just, um, I don't know, magic up things you want? <laughs> it's not that simple. You see, to do magic, witches need to eat. Then you need to know what you are doing. Hmm, how do I explain it? You see, I mean... Let's roll Here we go. My teacher said... To make something food, first you have to know its mass. Or something like that. You mean the weight and everything inside the thing? Okay. Then with the physics force of the kinetic? Kinetic, okay, lifting force of the lifting force mm. and magic happen. <laughs> That's some explanation you have, girl. Anyway, once I'm well fed, I can do some magic. So I will enjoy this meal gratefully, gratefully, and I will be sure to help you in return. Go south isn't new among witches. We are good friends. That's the real life. Almost I fainted when I saw the bell. How many portion did she eat in just one meal? Oh, she ate a lot. Wow. If she doesn't do magic at all and runs away, I will call the police for real this time. <laughs> hmm. I feel really good after that amazing meal. That's great. I like their stick too. Alright. Now that I had my pearl, I'm ready to help you. You better be. You ate so much, it was like a week worth of my meal. So, what's your problem? Have ghosts been bothering you? Do they spook you or scare you? Also, they are oh, friendly. They usually just looking for some chit chat. Oh, no thanks. The thing is, it's just, um, it just my own guess that ghosts are involved. I've never seen them, actually. Something keeps making mess, making mess in my employer house. Patches of dirt has been appearing everywhere and things keep going missing. These events have been making Ms. Easter very unhappy. If I don't get to the bottom of this, she'll fire me. Uh, oh, I really, really can't afford to be homeless this winter. Hmm, I see. So, should we check whether it's actually some ghost doing those math? Yeah, we should. There is this magic spell I can use to lower them in. When they come closer, I can... Okay, you can do it, like that. Okay, I... I'm gonna... I'm... I'm gonna believe you for that. Okay. Okay, you're the mess. Okay. I hate the idea, but for now, there is nothing better I can do besides trusting people. Oh no. What is it now? I sold my magic book to some little girl. You what? Why? I really need some money. I thought you are stupid or naive. Based on the name, isn't that magic book like super important to you, at least to witches? Yes, it is a very useful book. Some witches don't carry it around. They remember the content enough to not need to carry it with them. Uh, how nice. And you, I suppose you do need it, don't you? Well, it's a this girl. It's a, such a huge book. It's heavy. 
and it's Baba. Really, Pippa? It's Baba. Really? You that all you are saying? And you don't remember the counting. Well, I tried to read it, but it kept failing. <sighs> of course. For some reason, this game really. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna continue here. Yes, if you can take me to a library, we can look for this book. Yeah, there is one quite close. Let's go. Let's go. Pippa crawled over the muddy sidewalk as we head toward the library, occasionally splashing some mud around. I will have to be really cautious when I take her to the house, and she said will be so mad if she makes a mess. Well, she is a troublesome kid. If everything goes well, though I will have to reward her. Please, kind people, help. Help, help. Oh, what is it this time? Oh, what help do you need, sir? Young lady, do you happen to have some spare change? I'm really hungry. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm totally broke. No, you should have some cash, though. Hey, did you forget that I just spent a bunch on your meals? Oh, come on. Seriously? I know how it feels to be cold, wet, and starving. It's really sad, isn't it? I know how it feels too. Yeah, I do know that. I went through this similar situation myself before. Miss Easter. Okay, I can't let him. I can't believe this. I'm already so okay, I'm worrying about myself. I don't really have the luxury of fusing about others. Paying off a people's meal. What a huge dent in my finance. This is ridiculous. I need to think about the possibilities of being kicked out of it. If Miss Easter returns, uh, was I not solve the totally problem? Even with all that, however, I still feel sorry for this homeless guy. Oh, I'm gonna save. Okay, it's on. Where we say no? Oh. What if I say no? What's gonna happen? I'll have to say no this time. I don't have much left. Okay, no, because we spent a lot. I also have to be prepared for if Miss Easter ends up kicking me out of the house. I'll be as homeless as her. Pippa. Oh, yeah. But he's really hungry. We are both broke. It's unfortunate, but there is nothing we can do about it. I barely have anything with me now. Unless you don't mind eating nothing but crackers. For the next few days. Mm. Okay, I'm really sorry. We don't have anything we can show. Yeah, let's go. I pull Pippa by her arms and head straight to the library. She whines for a while. Whines. Whine is whine. Okay, you can whine all over you want, but um, you ain't gonna spend. At least for now. The library is excuse a strong skin of old books contrasted with muggy weather outside it feels comfortable contrasted with the muggy weather outside it feels comfortable it does there are books uh, of all sorts of size and colors as far as the eyes can see oh it's really big library well it is a big library yeah, I guess it will take forever to find the magic book. Don't worry, I can look for it with magic. Really? How are you going to do that? Hmm. I'll think about how the magic book looks like and um, match it with an existing book nearby. Really? Does that even gonna work? I'll put this information together and um, that doesn't convince me at all. Or just ask the librarian about it. The faster we get to the book, the better. Oh, wait, I can do it. Mm. Asking the librarian should be the easiest and the fastest sure way to locate the book. I'm kind of curious about how Pippa would locate the book. Ask the librarian anyway. Let Pippa use her magic to find the book. Hmm. 
I'm gonna okay yeah I'm gonna ask the librarian there will be other opportunities to see people magic this is not okay just let's just ask the librarian oh we arrive at the front desk but there is no one there there is no ball to call really hello is anyone there okay there she is she is hiding behind the book behind a book uh, uh, can you help us we are looking for a book a magic book would that book called what of that book called again the mag it's a it's a magic book are you sure that the name like for the title of the book it's called magic book I say ah <sighs> magic book oh, do you know where we can find it who's the author who's the author Pipa um, I wonder really this is insane, I'm probably dragging myself into more ridiculous problem than the ghost problem at home. She is some problematic. This librarian lady probably thinks that I am a fool and that she is completely <laughs> She is crazy. The friction area the friction area of the bottom floor left draw. Okay, thank you. The children fantasy area is on the upper floor. Left draw. The first two shelters. Okay, you say the, the shelter area also on the left upper floor. The children activities area is also on the upper floor. Uh, thank you very much. <sighs> People nowadays don't seem to grow out of their immature fantasies. I have no idea how to respond. To that. Well, I she is naive. I cannot help it with that. I can't help out doing anything with that. How many hours has it been? We have been checking each book in the fiction area, which is no small feat. I mean, there is a hundred of them. I don't even know what sort of book I'm meant to be searching for, or what it looks like. How am I supposed to find it? Well, the librarian thinks that we are looking for children's book. People's description is also very vague. She says that it's heavy book with a cute orange color cover there are only a few books that fit the description but none of them are right well which one then is the right one what time is it oh wow it's past two Pippa, where are you nari nari what is it he is standing by several tall piles of books in her hands his heavy looking book Okay, did you find the book, Pippa? Did you find it? Hmm. About which is it's so interesting. Pippa, we need to find the book. Wait. We need to find the book, that magic book that you wanted, girl. Dark colored clothes to blend in with the darkness better. Yeah, my teacher said that too. Uh huh. But you are wearing. A brighter color. I don't think you are wearing dark colored clothes though. No way, those are uncute. I think bright colored clothes are better. But what about the part which mentioned blending with the darkness? Whatever that means. Ah, it just means it's easier to hide. I think, really. You mean to hide after doing some crimes? Ah, huh? yes, I hate to. Really? Wait, no. That's not what I meant. And what did you mean? <sighs> it's part of the witch's code to never harm others and to be helpful to everyone. Sometimes witches do very questionable things. Mm, nothing violent, just unsightly. People find it easier to accept it when we say we do small crimes rather than saying we are witches. I think I understand why, though, unknown things are very scary for them. They run away from them, from it. People usually assume that witches are up to no good, blasting causes, turning people into frog. <laughs> I would love to turn into frogs if I was a witch, just to make sure you can. Uh, can witches really turn people into frogs? Yeah, I'm having that question also. Well, technically yes, but it's really really hard to do. 
Also, since we pledged not to harm others, that knowledge has been pretty much lost or hidden. Perhaps not entirely, I'm not sure. Well, it will reach the people who want to reach it. Well, now I think you are just a naive good witch. That's what she is. Her heart is white one. Perhaps she, not entirely, I'm not sure. Not entirely, you say. So I don't think it's not entirely. I'm drinking my tea. It would be cool if I could to turn people into frogs, though I think that frogs are really cute. <laughs> Alright, I don't think people can actually do that. But perhaps it's best not to upset her. Let's go upstairs. We haven't been able to find the book on this wall. Let's go. Shush. Okay, the librarian wants us to be silent. Oops. I get the feeling that we don't um, that we won't find the magic book in this library. The librarian didn't seem to have a clue about it. I doubt such mis mysterious book can be found in the children area. Hmm. The children fantasy area is smaller than the fiction area. It should be easier to find the book here. Pippa does her I would oh each time she finds an interesting looking book as usual. The activities uh, area looks so comfortable I ended up dragging myself there to take rest. The floor is carpet and there are pearls scattered all around. It is very cozy. I grab a brick shape uh, pillow with purple velvet cover and put it under my head uh, though it's hard it is comfortable enough i could probably catch a 30 minute nap while pipa is going luring around okay let's leave pipa naughty naughty oh i fell asleep sorry did you want something wait what time is it 2.50 did we? It looked like I slept for an hour. Did you find the book? No, I don't think this library has it. But worry not, Nori. There must be a way to solve the girl's problem without the book. Hmm. There is always a solution to everything. That's what my teacher said. Okay, you are a good student. So um, let me think. Girls' communication. It's fine. Don't worry about that. I know there are ways to solve this, so maybe I should ask my teacher. For now, let's have a break. We can do more things after we get some rest. And we need some rest. It's very late. We should go home. You can come with me if you want. Yes, sure. Oh, my neck hurt. Maybe I picked a bad pillow. Are you okay, Nori? I'm fine. My neck just hurts a bit. It was a bad idea to use this as a pillow. Wait, this is... Oh, look, Nori. It looks different, but this... What do you mean? This is a magic book. Wait, what? <laughs> is it really? I thought you said you were looking for an orange book. Yes, my magic book is an orange. I, I don't know whom this belongs to, but this is also a magic book. Let me go to the summing, summing chapter. Hmm. Page 372 looks it has a magic diagram. Okay, magic, magic diagram. We should be able to find the right one to lower out the ghost with Wow, the, what that's a great idea. Okay, let's check it. Okay, we need to check it then. We did find the book now. We head to the front desk and that an amused librarian checks our book out. I'm really looking forward to solving this ghost problem together with Pippa. For a moment, I was sure I'd find another mess after getting back fortunately. However, the house is spotless as before. Okay, we got the house is clean. I make sure that Pippa leaves her shoes outside then let her in. Ah, it's such a beautiful house. My sister loves her antiques. Yeah, she loves her antiques very much. Oh, look at this statue. 
surely has exquisite taste. I didn't expect people to appreciate the decoration of this house. That's interesting. You can sleep in my room. It is behind the stairs. I'll be here in, on the sofa if you need anything. Ah, I'm not sleepy though. You can get some sleep. I will read this book we just got. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Have some, have some sleep. I will be here in sec. Okay, she won't go sleep. Mm, just be careful, okay? Please don't make this. Sure thing. Good night, Nori. I hope she, I hope she won't make any noise. I'll sleep with the door open just in case. Yeah, we just hope she doesn't do anything weird. Good morning, Nori. Um, Pippa, did you? Good morning. Did you sleep well? I had some rest. The sofa is really soft, warm, and dry. It was really cozy. Oh, okay. Miss Isa, favorite too. Um, you live in a such a nice place. Uh, I wonder if she will let me live here too. If you can do some work for her, she might consider it. She likes delegating tasks to people. Your um, rich skill might be helpful to her. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, okay, she is hungry now. Hee hee, um, I guess I'm it's noon time. Have you digest all that steak from yesterday? Of course, all of that session consumes so much energy, you know. Whoa, you are quite high maintaining switch. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Okay, speaking of which, have you figured out how to do the ghost lowering magic? Oh yes, I found the diagram. It's quite simple. I just have to draw it where we want to lower the ghost in. If any ghosts are around, they will all come closer and then you can ask them about things. Are they scary? No, not at all. They are really friendly. Usually. What do you mean by usually? <laughs> okay, you are giving another bad answer now. What do you mean? Don't worry, Nori. It's okay. Pippa is here. Can I not worry? She she done nothing to convince me that she's a reliable witch. The time we spent looking for the book could have been avoided if she never sold her book in the first place. Yeah, how can I rely on such troublesome witch? We need a good place where we can summon the ghost. Would this area be okay? People points at Missy's their precious peacock lotus carpet. I never ma never go not no anywhere but Miss Isa carpet. Okay, okay. Let's do it here. The floor should be okay, right? Yeah, it should be okay, girl. How are you going to do it? I'll draw this diagram on the floor. The ghost should be lowered in no time. Not on the floor. I will get you a piece of paper. Okay, wait. We need to get a piece of paper. I search around the house for the biggest sheet of paper I can find. The old wall calendar should be good. Then I grab a marker from the kitchen and pass it to Pippa. Um, are we going to do it now? Mm, not now. The girls are asleep at this time. Let's do it after the sunset. Alright. Perhaps. By the way, Nori, what are. Rilka. I don't have much money I can't keep spending. Well, it's yesterday. Let's eat home. Yeah, we should eat home. Oh, that's okay. I thought that Miss Easter is really careful with her meals. The food in this house is safe. She lets me eat it moderately. Also, she won't be back until tomorrow. It's okay. What do you have? It's yummy. What do you have? It's yummy. It's okay. Does the kind of food you eat affect the quality of magic that you can do? The quantity of the food counts. That's for sure. It's even better if it's very nutritious. I don't have much money, so I can only make simple things. Is that okay? Yeah. With that, with that small body of yours, you eat too much. No worries. I'm happy to be fed with anything you have. Okay. The magic she can do depends with how much food she eats, doesn't it? 
that makes sense yeah like well okay okay i can probably make some toast sandwich for her let's see oh but she is a lady full oh, i'm just gonna go with the toast sandwich with butter let me say first hmm it's really good glad to hear that you are a lady full girl your bar is full the sun set just a few minutes ago, Biba told me to switch all of the lights. How funny, I can imagine that the ghost will be more scared than I am right now. <laughs> Can't we light a candle at the very least? I feel safer when I can see you. Ah, sure thing, they are very friendly though, you don't need to worry about a thing. Biba is here to save the day. <laughs> I'm still not convinced that the, she can really do this. I mean, if she can, it's awesome. If she can't, well, my expectations were pretty low anyway. Okay, she is singing now while drawing. Watching people draw the magic diagram make me, makes me very nervous. Are there really any ghosts nearby? I can't see anything beyond that. The candle. But the candle is illuminating. I can't even see people like, like what makes me feel uneasy. What if the ghost you can't yeah I can't even see her legs also. What if the ghosts that she summons are hostile? What if they pull her over to who knows where? What can I do? Should I go and look for <laughs> you are panicking? Wait, would that even do me any good? Is it even possible to hit them with a physical object? Mm. This diagram is quite complicated. I can't see it very well. Mm. Pippa moves closer to the candlelight. I unconsciously do the same. Feel so careful. Cowardly. It's embarrassing. As long as she is still singing. And I can still see her. I can say stay calm enough to endure this quality. This quietly. Pippa, Pippa, did I just hear a voice? Pippa, are you here? Who's that? Yeah, who's that? There is someone here, and I don't even like it. Me, what? Pippa, did you hear that? I hear someone calling you. Yeah, Pippa, someone did call us. Really? I don't hear anything. The voice came from the front door, and... Is it a ghost? Don't call me a ghost, that's rude. Okay, then who you are if you are not a ghost? Pippa is there, isn't she? Okay, fine. Um, who is that? Come out. I quickly grab the candle to secure the light. I can feel the adrenaline rush in my head. I will deal with whoever it is. Okay, you're gonna deal with him. This is nothing compared with Miss Easter. Ah, there you are. Huh? Is that you, Kitty? Oh, is that you, Kitty? Ah, oh, my best friend. I've been looking for you all this time. No, you haven't. I missed you. Come here. Wait, what's she? Ah, let me go. I'm not toy. Okay, she's cute. She's really cute. Wait, I just noticed. Wait a minute. A kitty? Uh, a dog? <laughs> Pippa, is that an already human? Yeah, it is not. Oof. Oops. Oops. <laughs> uh, I hope that was convincing. Not at all. Kitty, don't worry. Nobody knows that I'm a witch. It's fine. You are a really cute girl. Yeah, I'm a witch. It's fine. You can. It's fine. You can show yourself. Okay, yeah. Alright, that makes things much easier. i uh, never seen a dog that talks. Please, pardon my ignorance. You are all right. Most people run away when I accidentally talk to them. We can appreciate your cuteness, Kitty. You are really too so patient. Uh, okay. Anyway, where have you been? I've been looking for you for the past few days. The rain washed your skin away. I was so worried that you'd be chased away again, or worse, that you'd be hauled in. For questioning at the police officer. 
station, at the police station. I've been helping Nori to solve the ghost problem in this house. Ah, I'm halfway. Finish drawing this diagram. Look, hmm, you still haven't improved your drawing skill, have you? Yeah, it's that bad. I mean, we are talking about ghosts here. The last time people draw magic diagram was um, when was it? Two years ago. What? Real girl. We were practicing summoning magic. When it we about summon? When we about summon butterfly instead? <laughs> a murderous hornet. It was alone. Fortunately. Oh, can we really trust you, Viva? Yeah, it was the last poor thing. Viva, please, don't summon anything other than the friendly ghosts. Don't worry, Nori. You can trust me. I'll be happy to see ghosts at this point. Please, don't lower anything hostile. Yeah, don't lower anything hostile, girl. Miss Easter will be more than furious if we make a mess of her house. Don't worry. Don't. Don't worry, don't worry. Now let me focus on my drawing. Hmm. Okay, Pippa, you and your innocent character. Personalize. Personality. Pippa continues drawing while Kitty watches her from the sideline having another person, another person, or animal here. Makes me feel comfortable. This diagram is much more complex than just a circle and some decorations. Pippa's taking her time. Kitty lies down beside her, then closes her eyes. She's falling asleep. I seem that's a good sign. That's we are not in any danger. Suddenly, I feel that familiar, slightly chilly breeze on the back of my neck. The candle flickers for a bit, then stops. Uh oh. Pippa doesn't react, and Kitty is still snoozing. Did neither of them feel it? Mm, Pippa, do you feel chilly? Mm, no, not really. Are you sure? Yeah, you're sure, girl. Pippa left her head up. Suddenly, her eyes opened as wide as Jeannie's sunny sides of eggs. Oh, oh. What is it? Look, Nori. Look at this. Pippa is point pointing at her. Okay, what's, what am I supposed to look at again? It's... It's so cute. Something isn't right. Pippa is definitely seeing a moving object, but I can't see anything like that. Oh, you can't see anything, Pippa. Her head is moving left and right, as if she is falling the side of a chaotically moving. There is something cute according to her. This room that I can't see. Pippa, focus. Don't get distracted. Is that the ghost? Let me save. I'm gonna save. Okay. Um. Is that the ghost, Pippa? Uh, come here. Don't run away. We want to see you. Pippa, who are you talking to? Wait, come back. Pippa runs to the other side of the house. If she wasn't laughing so happily, I'll be freaking out right now. You would be freaking out. Pippa, it's okay, Nori, it's safe. Where are you? I'm here, I'm coming back to you. Come here, it's okay, we are very, we are very nice people, don't be scared. Okay, talking. Katie, wake up, tell me. Is Pippa talking to a ghost now? Mm, where is she? I don't know, it's very dark. Pippa, where are you? I'm coming, I'm taking this body back with me. Oh yes, she is with the ghost. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, look, they are back. I only see Pippa. What do you mean? I only see Pippa. Oh, I know. I will do simple magic to let you see the ghost. Okay. She says, see the ghost? Yeah, you have to see it for yourself. The most adorable ghost I've ever met. Okay, it seems she likes the ghost. If it says so. I really, really don't want to see it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say so. Let's... Let Nori see you, little thing. Oh. Whoop. I'm starting... Okay. Starting it slowly. Yeah, 
it's uh, a sharp presence not taller than my waist is it a small ghost some see no it's large round and raw is that it's a dog ollie i can see the bottle the starving bottle Eva is going to have ollie why are you ghost when did you pass i haven't seen you in a while have you been doing well well i guess you are looking quite happy now uh, it is happy i can feel him once but this shape and this face and this smile is definitely holy she usually, she usually runs from her house to our yard every morning well it is a cute dog she loves playing with water hose that i don't own just for her she was such a mind <laughs> okay okay are you cold uh, did you eat well that's probably not applicable for cold she sniffs around my arm, probably got excited since I can finally see her. How long has she been doing this? How she been trying to get my attention all this time? Yeah, she been trying, she been doing all sorts of things just to get our attention. Have you been coming to Miss Easter? Place this last few weeks, Holly jumped over to Viva. It seems as if she inviting her to play chase together, Holly was always like that. Is Ollie, I mean, Ghost Ollie the one who been making a mess in the house? I can't feel any other ghost presence beside her. Thinking back, it, make, it makes sense that Ollie would have been made all that mess. The dirt on the carpet, she loved playing in mud. Yeah, she did love playing in mud. The pillow all over the place, she loved chasing them. The falling badges, maybe she bumped into them while she was coming around and move you know okay she been she been <sighs> the dog been doing random stuff i wish i could communicate with her should i ask her can you talk to her yeah since you are <laughs> yeah i'm a dog remember yeah I, 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 i'm sorry i don't know why i forgot about that maybe it's because you can't talk hmm, it is not because kitty really cute right you are cute. I understand both human and dog, though I don't really talk to anyone. I don't really talk with other dogs, either since most dogs communicate oh, okay, just uh, and smiles and smells. That's interesting. Can you ask Oli something, for example, whether she been here recently? Yeah, you can. Can you ask her that if she was here recently? I need to know who's behind the mysterious mess in this house. Sure, Oli, come here. Oh, there you go, Oli, Oli. Tell her the truth. Oli, Oli falls to Katie's side and sits obediently. It makes for an interesting sight. Okay, they are talking to each other now. With each other. What would you like to know? Uh, I want to know whether Oli has been coming here recently. Okay. It is her. It's a little bit. She did. I see. It's cute how they communicate. Did she walk over? Did you do that, Ollie? Can you give her the right answer? Yes, I was here. <laughs> okay. And did she knock the vase down? Did you knock the vase down, Ollie? Oh, oh, Ollie. Really? Yes, she knocked down the vase, and she doesn't want to face oh, this dog. Oh, Lee, there are some problematic dog also. Same as Pippa. Okay, Ollie walks toward me. She used to do it when Miss Issa scolded her. Okay, the, hun the thunderstorm in the past few days were very scary for her. Every time it rained hard, she came here looking for you. Oh, yeah, Ollie was really, really scared of the thunderstorm. She would cry when the lightning struck. Okay, she's just a baby then. After the storm passed, she would leave her house and come here. I would really usually try and calm her. You see, sir, almost always stopped her right before she walked on the porch since she was very dirty. She might have died now, but I guess she still does it. She
he comes over after the storm out of habit. It just that, since none of us could see her, she was actually able to slip inside and chaos all this mess. Oh, Ollie was just scared then. Yeah, she was quite a crybaby even in, in her old age. She seems quite happy and free now. It is as if she's in the best version of her. She does look happy. The last time I saw her, she wasn't as energetic as usual, which I associated with her age. In a way, I'm happy to see her looking so carefree. Wait a minute, I just realized something. Why wouldn't those Ghostbusters find all you then? Oh, unfortunate. They are cowboys. I mean, they are cowards. Oof. <laughs> Did she say something about that? Yeah. <laughs> Those Ghostbusters couldn't see Ollie, they ran away after Ollie tried Okay, Ollie threw a pillow at them and they freaked out so badly. Oh, scammers. When I met them again next time, I'll meet them again next time, I'll give them a, okay, a piece of your head, you say. Okay. Nori, is there anything? Oh, I'm sleepy. It's so late, Pippa. Also, didn't you eat a lot of avocado? <clears throat> well, it took a lot of magic to make Ollie visible. I don't mind though, she deserves all. <laughs> okay. Let me see what's available. Uh, a bowl of tuna rice. Um, sh I should, maybe I should give you that. Well, even though we did, I already gave you that. Um, frozen strawberries. This Easter cereal bar. Should I give her this again? I'm gonna give her this again. Sorry guys, I did cut the scene where I did something wrong. Anyway, I had to re-record re again. Pippa, do ghosts hang around? Is Ollie going to keep rooming around as a ghost? I'm glad that we found the root of the problem, but I don't want Ollie to create even more messes. Yeah, we need to solve this problem, girl. Before Miss Easter did. Mad at all. Those don't usually hang around for too long. As far as I know, there are probably exceptions. I don't know that much about ghosts except that they are really nice. <laughs> hmm, it's just that I can't let Ollie because more problems. Miss Easter will hate it. All the chaos. I can't let Ollie. I can't let Ollie because more problems. Miss Easter. Okay, 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 okay. She chaos. A lot of problems. Chaosing more problems. <laughs> She's coming back today. I'd like to tell her. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I know just the right person who can take care of Ollie. I'll send her a letter and she'll come over right away. Really? That's great. Yeah, I can have a piece of paper and a pen. Alright. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. We can, we can bring those to you. Papa thought writing the letter while occasionally mumbling to herself and furious about this friend of hers. After a while, she neatly folds her letter into a thin, rectangular shape and slots it into an envelope. I wonder, hmm, Katie, do you remember? Isn't she in Raven City? She said that she was going to a new place soon, and I haven't seen her since then. I'll use magic to find her at this. Hmm. 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 Where is it? Oh, I'll write it down. I don't know how she got hold of that. Okay, I can see the starving bar went way lower. Part of her magic. This is nice. Now let's send this letter to her. Okay. Do you want me to take you to a post office? There is an. There is one never. No need. I will have a postal bird delivering it for me. A postal bird, you say? Yeah, you'll love it. A postal birds are so, so cute. Okay. Diva's definition of cute is quite muddy. She called every animal she met so far cute. Come to think of it, I've heard about postal birds before. Pigeons, balcons, crows, and the like. I like, yeah, they look cool. 
but I'm not sure which one Pippa is preparing. Forget cute, I think it sounds cool to have a bad deliver, deliver your mail for you. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. But uh, since it's Pippa, yeah, we need to lower our expectation. There is, isn't pe pigeons or balcons nearby. There are only a few small house sparrows. Don't tell me it's sparrows. Sparrows, sparrows. One seems to fly lower and lower until it lands on Pippa. Sparrows. Sparrow. Look, it's so cute. It's smaller than your letter. Ah, you're right. Uh, is she sure that this bird is a postal bird? It looks so round. It don't even, I don't even think it'll be able to fly so far. It does look adorable, but other than that, I don't think I'd entrust such an important really <laughs> people. Here, I tore apart of my letter. It should be light enough for it to carry now. I don't trust this. Don't worry, Nori. Birds summoned with magic are okay, okay. This little friend will deliver our message safely. Okay, if you say that. Go, little bird, take care. Uh, if you say so, I guess I'll we'll just wait and see then. You know, we, ju we just need to wait and see how it go. I know. You what? You what? She did came, Miss Easter. What are you doing out here? No, what are you doing out here? I think that's how she's gonna. Okay. Um. You've returned, man. We were deliberately. I mean, look, looking. <laughs> looking at you, how beautiful garden is. Yeah. Who is this? Some young lady. Is this your friend? Caesar looks judgingly at Pippa from head to toes. I can tell that whether she is considering whether to approve of Pippa or not. This is Pippa. She helped take care of um, the mess that been happening in the house. It, I trust that she succeeded. Uh, yes, ma'am. She is call. She is calling a friend to come over. Um, one last look. Okay. So I'll make sure that everything is fine. Um, hi, Pippa. Oh, see, my friend walks with ghosts. Shh, 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 Pippa. Oh, I mean, shh. look at her. She, she got. She, okay, we cannot do that. Let's really, she's really capable of this no one and you'll be, oh yeah, 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 never mind. Um, you guys can pause it. And your dress, it look real uh, beautiful. It's such a nice fine material. It look cool. It, is it cool? This is the first time I've ever seen Miss Easter smiling. Only the finest wool, my friend. Rosalie sold me this one. Ah, oh, oh, one of a kind dress. It's light yet warm. Ah, oh, what's a nice dress. My teacher loves wool too. Since, you know, older witches get cold easily. <laughs> what did he say? Okay. She, she meant older people. I mean, I mean, her teachers get cold gets called people mix words up sometimes i'll get you a cup of tea you must be tired man a cup of tea sounds nice let's have a rest home at home and i'll tell you all about my teacher garden huh. okay crisis avert okay good thing we solved that some days later okay it's some days later how many days been passed now I wonder who is that? You might my heart. Oh, may I help you? Can you help me with anything? Excuse me, I have came to answer a job request I received from a job request. I don't remember putting out any request. Uh, what's it, what is it about? It's a, a reading job. Do you live in this house? Oh yeah, I've lived. I live here. What do you mean by reading? Wait, what? Are, she's, are you? Is she? Is she? That's when I noticed a huge shiny says say, hanging behind her. A reaping job. D does that mean she's a grim reaper? First I had to deal with a witch. Now it's a grim reaper. Did, 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 did you come to for me? 
My client is here according to the information I received. If you live here, then you are my client. Uh, aren't I a bit too young? I mean, I, I haven't done m much this lifetime. Are you sure that you're really... <laughs> okay, I don't make mistake in my job. Uh, is there any way I can plead with you? I mean, I have a job. I own, I know, I know what life can end suddenly. There is nothing I can do about it. Anyway, I won't hold you. You so don't worry. I will just take you outside and then. What? Oh, you are here. Oh, you are here. Pippa, I received your letter. The postal bag was so so cute. I know, right? Huh? <laughs> okay. You both know each other. Ah, oh, Nori. This is my friend, a Green Reaper. A Green Reaper. She helped us to take care of this. Oh, yeah, okay. She hasn't came home yet. Ah, oh, Sally. Okay. She said she come for me. What's the job? That wasn't. Oh, I'm sure I only got the information that my client is here. It received neither a name nor a photo of my client. I don't usually take jobs. Not those. But Pippa is a good friend of mine. I don't mind. The client is called Oli, you said. Yeah, yes, you love her. Why didn't you give her all the details, Pippa? Isn't that the most important thing to write down? What would have happened if Miss Easer had opened the door and seen her? She would have fainted. <laughs> but, but I wrote about Oli. I wrote everything down, really. Then, what's wrong? I only received this small piece of paper. She shows a small piece of the letter with two sentences, house address, and the brief not note saying that there's a job for her. On the other side of the letter is the Grim Reaper address and people's signature. Oh, I remember now. I told the letter up so the hospital bed. Okay, okay. The postal bed can carry it. The letter got too large with all the details. The poor little body would have any. Yeah, I know, I know. Seriously, Pippa. <laughs> it's alright. This is enough information. I am at your service. Yes, it's fine. What's your problem, Nori? Um, would you like a cup, a cup of tea, Oli? We'll be making up soon. Waking up soon. Let's uh, walk inside. That sounds lovely. Yeah, I can't believe it. A grim reaper just casually entered this house. Okay, let's just hope Miss Easter is prepared for that. Pippa, I told you not to leave the stove stove open again. Do you uh, guest here? Hello, are you Oli? No, I'm not. Wait a minute. What's that big thing behind you? Uh, don't worry, it's very safe. I take care of it very, very well. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Wait, hey, what are you trying to do? Are you coming here for my life or for my belong? I've seen you in a book before. Are you the, the Grim Reaper? Oh, I am. I'm, I'm glad that you recognize me. Most people think I am cosplayer. Um, I'm still young. Please spare my me. I still have a lot to like to, to, to collect. Nori, Nori, help me. It's fine, ma'am, it's okay, it's fine, not, she's not coming for you. Yeah, she isn't coming for you, ma'am, even though I would love it. Miss Easter, I have, I have to hold on Miss Easter so she doesn't fall to the floor. Ma'am, it's okay, she isn't coming for us. She come for the neighbor, yes, that technically not a lie, Oli was indeed our neighbor. <gasps> My head, oh, okay, Miss Easter, she fall out. I'll take you to the sofa, ma'am. Yeah, let's take her to the sofa then. No, it's fine. No, no, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to scare you. I just happened to pass by. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, please don't take my life. I'm not going to do that, ma'am. I'll come here for somebody else. You are coming for some. <laughs> okay, she's. Painting again. Miss Easter, 
Hang in there, please. Rest here, my sister. I'll ask her to go into the phone cabin for now. Phone cabin. Mm. Yes, please. Okay, we need to take we need to take care of that. Uh, leave both Pippa and Graham Leaper out. I don't think poor Miss Easter would see them for a while. Um, I wonder where Kitty and Ollie is. I'll search for them quickly. The Grim Reaper stands quietly after meeting Pippa. Seeing a Grim Reaper who hasn't come for me isn't such a surprise. Chances like this don't come by every day, so I think I'll take the opportunity to ask her a few questions about her. Um, profession? Profession, you say? By all means, ask, okay? I don't mean to offend you or anything, but I'm very curious, are you a human? I mean, your job is uh, taking the lives of people, so... Oh, yes, I'm human, just like you, mostly. This is job I, this job I got from years ago, mostly. And I don't tell anybody. I only get job notification. Go to the place, leave, and then I'm done. What do you mean by leave exactly? Um, that big thing. It's very simple. I'll see it when you meet Ollie. She doesn't seem to be hostile at least. Yeah, she isn't that dangerous. She is polite and softly spoken, quite unlike Pippa. Mm, that said, you are Carrie. Is it real? Yeah, is it real, girl? Yes, um, um, of course, it's cool, isn't it? Are you even allowed to carry such a dangerous weapon around? So far, it's been fine. What if it wasn't fine? Nori, Graham, we are here. I don't know what the real name of the Graham universe. Pippa, I told you not to call me like that. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> okay, why do you why do you feel like that? Oh, just embrace your cute job title. You should be proud of yourself. Cute. Everything is cute for you, Pippa. Anyways, meet Ollie. Just look at her. Isn't she cute? Oh, she is. Okay. Okay, where is she going now? Ollie takes an interesting in Grim Reaper, especially because of the ball that jingles when she moves. Hmm, I think I can open the door to her. Here. Grim Reaper stretches her arms. And the door materializes out of nowhere. Pippa, well, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. The door stands still without any support. She knocks it over. I try to take a peek at what's on the other side, but there's nothing. I only see the neighbor house through the door. There's nothing behind that. That door doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Maybe it's not um, visible to us. That's normal. I can't see anything past it myself, but they can. Oh, okay. Since we are alive and Pippa Ollie is the only one who can see it, her answer keeps me out. Go on, Ollie. The door is open. Feel free to go. How cute this is. Go on, Ollie. Yeah, go, Ollie. Okay, feel. Come on, Ollie, just go there behind, go to the stairs, or whatever, what, whatever behind the door is. You should go and explore or play more there without even making any more noises or problems to us in Mr. Miss Easter house. Oh, come on, Ollie. <laughs> Let me drink my tea. I need to drink my tea also. Okay, but, fuck. She is running away now. Ollie runs around. They are killing the Grim Reaper and Pippa. It seems like she still wants to play. Oh, she does want to play. You can do it, Ollie. The door is right here. Go. Oof, oof. Ollie doesn't seem to be interested in the door. The more the Grim Reaper chases her, the more she runs. I join them. In chasing Ollie, but that seemed to give the opposite effect. Ollie runs over so fast. Ollie must think that everyone wants to play with her. Yeah, probably that's what she thinks. Oh, wait, I'm running out of 
Wait, I'm running out of breath. Breathe. <laughs> this is so fun. Ha 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 ha. Okay, Pippa. This is harder than I thought it'd be. The Grim Reaper takes her says out it it's strangely terrifying sight, giving she's so slender. What is she going to do? Is she going to hurt the folly? She then starts to swing it around slowly. Slowly, you say. Come here, girl. Come here. Yeah, go behind the door. Oli seems to be very interested in the Grim Reaper, says. Perhaps because of the ball that attached to it. Probably. Is she going to slash Oli with it? A horrible thought runs across my mind. I don't want to see that. I already imagined what you said, what the dialogue said. The Grim Reaper points for the says toward the end. Oli happily follows the ringing of the ball. Probably we need to kick her ass. Once Oli reached the, the door, the Grim Reaper uses the bottom part of the says head to push her to the door. Okay now, off you go, off you go. Oh. Okay, Oli probably think that this is all game. She starts hitting the bottom of the says. Now isn't the time to play go It is hot <laughs> She she always wanna play. Oli barks at her her head cocked. Never mind. The oh okay she did what we what we were suggesting. She disappears. Okay, bye Oli. The door then slams shut, then fades away. That's it. Oli dead went to heaven or whatever now. Or to the mom, probably. It's conclude my job. That's conclude my job. Okay. Then I, I indeed, I'm done here. Okay, she's done. So basically, Game Reaper are supposed to uh, kick ghost. <laughs> but that magic trick, what was it that quite impressive? Do you know where that door leads? I have no idea. My job doesn't include anything about the other side of the door. Huh. I have so many questions in my mind right now, but I have no idea where to start. I thought I'd feel sad about Oli has finally passed on, but this feels like a perfect normal day. With this, there should be no more ghosts in the house, is that right? Yeah, yep yep, that house is clear. I thought that I'd be overjoyed to get to the bottom of this, but I actually feel a bit sad about it, yeah, because uh, Oli did win somewhere, we don't know. I understand, but dying is a part of life. I don't have much to say about this, but all my clients told me that if you want to live a rich life, you should have fun, eat delicious food, and be sincere and kind to people. In the end, that's all. I agree, that's what I've been doing all this time too. Ah, all of this talk about food is making me hungry. Would you like to me? Miss Easter packed some of this afternoon. They look so yummy. Okay, baked. She baked some cookies. Pippa and the Grim Reaper go back to the house as laser pace. I'm confused. So, is that really? Then I watched the Grim Reaper set her set down before entering the house. Probably out of consideration to Miss Easter. I want to have some cookies too. Yeah, I do want some cookies too, also. I'm glad that this mess mess has been solved. Miss Easter should be happy about. Miss Easter takes a liking to the Grim Reaper, rising her handsome and her behavior. She tries to reward her. Don't worry, Miss Easter, my employer already paid me well. Paid me. Oh dear me. You really are. Okay, I'd be happy to receive the reward. <laughs> okay. Miss Easter reminds Pippa of the mess she made and she tried to help her bake the cookies earlier. Pippa offers to help clean the kitchen with magic and once again Miss Easter freaks out. I have to calm her down and reassure her that everything is okay. Pippa, of course, is close about why Miss Easter seems so frustrated. Really? Really, Pippa? It's because of what you said. I will help you, Miss Easter. Um, 
Okay, fortunately everything goes smoothly after that. Okay, it's been good to be with you all. Oh, I have to go. I have to go back. She has to go back now. Thank you for your help, Grim. It's been hard to travel here and take care of Ollie. My employee paid for everything, so that that is no issue. Don't worry about it. I will see you again next time. I'm going to see see you again. Uh, is my knee rain? No, that's not what I meant. I don't know about people life. So please don't fret. Yeah, don't fidget, girl. I just think it would be nice if we could spend more time together. You can find yourself in Canary, Canary Town. Yeah, okay, okay, Canary Town. I'll show you around. There's a very nice cafe with a delicious croissant. I'm sure that you'll like it. Oh, a seashell. Has me getting deeper. Fine. Does sound really cool. Yeah, it does. Where is Pippa? She said she was looking for Kitty. Ah, she's so unreliable. Where is there she is? Ah, oh, thanks for waiting, Graham. Kitty threw a tantrum when I was trying to put some new bows on her head. Okay, she got new bow on her head. The sister kindly gave us these pretty bows. She, they look so pretty. Yeah, I like them too. Look at her. Isn't she so so cute? She is very cute indeed. <sighs> she doesn't seem to like them. Of course, only Nori understands me the best. Let me go. <laughs> okay, you are cute. Let go, girl. I mean, doggy. You are so cute. Shall we go, Pippa? Okay, they are going now. The, uh, yes, goodbye, Nori. Thanks for everything. I hope you. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Pippa, Graham. When we meet again, someday, let's have a meal and a chat. Yeah, we need to have a meal and a chat like that if we ever meet again. Of course, let me... Yeah, sure, sure. Bye-bye. Well then, we'll be going now until next time. Finally, my own phantasmal problem is solved. We did solve our phantasmal problem. Um, life is finally... Okay. Oh, let's have some... What? That would be lovely. Hmm. Kitty, where is my wallet? Why are you asking me? You took it away from me last time. Oh, did I? You nagged about me leaving saliva all over it. You didn't let me get it again. Oh, forget I did that. Of course I did that. I need my wallet to get a sum. Okay. Oh my. Forgetting about that won't make the world return to you. Hey Nori, what, may I ask why you favor say? Oh brother. Ending the goodbye Ollie. Thank you for your precious for the precious memories. Oh there you go guys. We got the third ending now. I believe there was there are there are there is two ending I mean three endings for this game. Alright, we got the first and the third ending, but we haven't got the G and D ending, the second ending, which is, uh, let me just, uh, I'm just gonna explore more, yeah, like last time we did went to this, but we did change and save and change our order, so yeah, we, let's continue with uh, our previous order, with the pie. I eat here almost every day. Nothing sense Miss Easter. Um, I mean my. Okay. She has a lot of allergies to keep her kitchen clean from any ingredient she avoids. Okay. She. That's how. That's a lot of allergies for her. Poor her. It's better for both of us. Also, more likely here it can be suffocating. It. Why do you stay with her then? It's my job. I take care of the house, and she gave me a place to stay. And some spending money in return. Oh, okay. It's not very rewarding, but I can at least fulfill my basic needs while says trying to figure out what to do. I think that's a nice job. Though I would like to have a place. <laughs> okay. But you are a witch. Can't you just... Uh, okay. It is the same dialogue. As, as you guys can see, it is the same dialogue. 
Soon after You and your explanation You don't need it's a vago explanation Pippa And I want to work for the magic and enjoy me great will be sure to have you in Return Okay stuff Cool stuff Blah 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 oh, Okay Okay, I didn't realize until I was about to pay that she ate the entire cherry pie. Her stomach must have no bottom. I will do that also. Hee hee hee. Uh, how many portion did she eat? Just one meal. If she doesn't do magic at all and runs away, I'll call the police for real this time. <laughs> That's sweet shape. Okay, as you can see, we have more money on us and... Hell, cherry pie immediately. Thank you. Okay. Right now, I had my phone ready to help you. Her stomach are full to half, almost half. Uh, with your problem, have ghost been Okay, it should be the same, I guess. Most of them are friendly. They are usually just looking for some chit, ch some chit chat. You say no, <laughs> no thanks. The thing is, it's just uh, just my own guess that ghosts are involved. I've never seen them actually. Sometimes keeps making mess in my employer house. The house of death has been appearing everywhere, and things keep going messing. Patches of deaths. These events have been making Caesar happy. If I don't get the bottom of this, she'll fire me. I really, really can't afford to be homeless this winter, as you can see. They are playing the same dialogue. Mm, yeah, it's Shin Gainuk. A magic spell I use all of them when they come closer. I can ask about it. Yeah, you can ask them about it. They are quite shy, you know. <laughs> are you going to summon them? Yes, you want to ask them about it. No, they should know who. Chaos. Okay, I hate the idea, but for now there is nothing better I can do besides. Mm, no. What is it now? I sold my magic book some time ago. People, you sold your magic book. Then he, why? What? Why? Why? I really need some money. I really need it. Eh? You sell your magic books just because you need money, which is the 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 one that really important to you. Well, I cannot help but this girl. It's something out of their minds. Did you carry with them? Ah, oh, how nice. Content drop. I suppose you do need, don't you? Me, don't you? Well, it's such a huge book. It's heavy and it's a bother. And you don't remember the content. Well, I tried to read it. Oh, kept falling asleep. <laughs> okay, you kept falling asleep. But well, of course, no worries. No worries, librarian usually have this book. You just need to find it. Oh, really? That's oddly convenient. Yes, if you can take me to a library, you can look for this book. Hmm, this girl. Pippa frolic over the muddy sidewalk as we head to tell the librarian, occasionally splashing some mud around. I'll have to be really cautious when I take her to the house. My sister will be. Please, kind people, help! Huh? <sighs> what is it this time? Okay, I guess this is the pool guy. Young lady, do you happen to have? Oh yeah, this guy. What if what can happen if you help him? I mean some spare change, I'm really hungry. No, I'm sorry, I'm totally broke. No, you should have some. Okay, forget. Just paint a bench a bunch of meal. Oh, come on. Seriously. I know how it feels to be cold, wet and sobbing. It's really sad, isn't it? Well, to be honest, I know how it feels too. I went through the similar situation myself before Miss Issa took me in. It's not like I don't know about it. Yeah, it's not like you don't know about it, girl. Pippa. 
Then let's help him, Bukai. I can't believe this. I'm already so pro preoccupied with worrying about myself. I don't really have the luxury of fussing about others. <laughs> yeah, truly you are. Paying off people's meal puts a huge dent in my finance. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. I need to think about the possibility of being kicked out of Miss Easter Returns and I've not solved this problem. Even with all this, however, I still have still feel sorry for this homeless guy. All the same, I'm gonna give you some change. Yeah, I'll give him some cash. <laughs> Here, you do what you want with it. Good thing we went with the pie. Sure, here you are. Sir, I hope you can get something warm and nice for yourself. Thank you, kind lady. I don't know how to return your generosity. Hmm. Don't worry about that. I'm happy to help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is happy to help. Anyway, it's quite admirable that helping others seems to be a part of people's natural drive. Okay, that she's good. She's a good witch. It makes me wonder about whether she's just too selfish or that she just simple minded let's go to the library library oh yeah right wow she already forgot him about it wait young lady i just remember something this hey what 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 is it man old man i've been carrying this book with me but i can't understand it you might have a bit of use of it wait a minute is this my magic really girl okay this is this is all he got if we help the poor guy yeah, look, it's my signature. Oh, it is also has my scribble. Scribble. This, this is definitely mine. How is that possible? Where did you find this book, sir? I found it in a dumpster somewhere a while back. Oh, Pippa, did you throw it? It was dirty, but it was also shiny. So I thought it'd be valuable. But unfortunately, no one bought it from me yet, right? Turns out I don't have any use of it. Nobody seems interested in buying it. Yeah, even its original owner casually sold it off. Whoever bought it from Pippa must have thrown it away, right? <laughs> yeah, this is very, very important to me. Thank you for finding it. No, thank you for spending some cash for me. I'm glad to. Now, we have to go. Goodbye, sir. Alright, let's go to my employer home. Let's go. Okay, that was a lot easier than not helping the poor guy. One moment, I was sure to find another mess after getting... Okay, I guess this is... What about if we... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna save it there. Just in case. But I don't think I'm gonna return here because... Uh, it is what it is. When we went after helping the poor guy. I'm gonna... Okay, let's load. Let's see what's gonna happen in the library. Okay. Let Pippa use her magic. Yeah. Let's leave her use her magic. Maybe she can find it for real. How are you going to do it? Will you make the book just fly to us? Oh no, I don't know where the book is, so I don't do that. Searching magic book works like a guided tour. We'll have a guide that leads us to a book. Hmm. What do you mean by a guide? Whoever knows where the book is, of course. Hmm. A magic book. Hmm. Okay, she's trying. <laughs> she's trying to know where the book is. I expected her to make some fancy gesture to start chanting, but uh, yeah. I guess magic isn't as fancy as it seems in movies. Hmm. Where's the guide? Good. <laughs> Pippa, are we supposed to look for something? I'm I'm looking for the guide that we can follow. Uh, okay. I really have no idea that she what she's talking about. Look around and I follow her suit, but there is nothing out of place. There is nothing shiny or sparkly. Uh -huh, okay. Even in the library, shiny floor, everything is still. I feel bad for stepping inside with my muddy shoes. <laughs> okay. Wait. What well, that near her feet? Piba, huh? There is a cockroach on your foot. I will get right of it, okay? Huh? Where is it? Oh, oh, wait, Nori. Don't move. Don't move, Piba. I will. No, 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 no. This is cockroach, is all. Huh? 
Okay, Pippa. Pippa squat down to get closer to the cockroach that looks extremely nasty. I can't help but Pippa is Pippa. Don't touch it. Look, it's going in. We should follow it quick. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, she is following the cockroach Pippa. Curious further into the liber library, the librarian on the front desk is glancing at us with a look of disgust. <laughs> because she is irritated by us. That is the librarian who you can't even see her face. I quickly apologize for her and try to signal that we won't chaos any problem in the library. There is no time to wait for her reaction anyway. I have to follow that troublesome witch. She is somehow she is some troublesome someone. Nori, one moment, let me breathe. She's running a lot faster than I thought she could. How unexpected. Well, with that amount of food she's eating, of course. It looks different from mine, but looks. It's the magic book. In her hand is a huge purple book. It is velvet cover. Cover gives it a luxury, luxurious touch, and it's decorated with golden embroidery. I don't know whom this book belongs to, but this is also a magic book, just like mine. Let me go to the summoning chapter. Page three. Okay, this is where things are the same. Conversation we have. Yeah, it is the same. Same dialogue. <laughs> oh my god, my running nose. Why I have a running nose now? Load, load. I'm gonna load the... Uh... Uh, let me see. What's the second? What should the second ending should be? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go from here and then go with the. Uh, yeah, I just wonder if we went through this option, and then we at some point, Pippa wasn't able to use her own magic. Okay, I'm gonna give him some change. Some cash because he gonna give us the book anyway. I'm gonna skip, 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 skip. Let's skip. Okay, I'm gonna give you the lower amount of food that you can get. The okay, LED, yeah, it does give us a mark of which food we gave people in the previous playthrough. Okay, it's Kitty. Okay, this is where we meet Kitty. Skip, skip, skip. Uh, focus, uh, is that the ghost? Yeah, yeah, it is the ghost. Since she can see the ghost. But if, if you say so, yeah. Now we are seeing Ollie. He Ollie is way bigger than... Um, what do you call it? Okay, I'm gonna give you my Miss Issa seal bar. <laughs> I like bars also. Well, ghost really... Okay, you like it. No, maybe if I... Really? No, you can't. Mm, okay, um, let's skip it now. Wait. Oh. What? Is everything okay? Okay, this is where she's trying to... No, the... I'm sorry, but I don't think I can get the address. Okay, yeah, this is where she can't get the address. Oh, there you go, guys. She won't be able to do magic if she is hungry. If, I mean, if she doesn't eat food. Getting the address of some requires a huge amount of magic. It's pretty complicated to spell. Oh, no wonder. But didn't you just eat cereal bar like a moment ago? Hey, hey magic isn't cheap. <sighs> Probably my fault for not noticing how costly it has been to feed Pippa. Mm, this girl. I had no idea she'd be such a big eater. Though, I mean, she barely comes up to my shoulders. I guess we'll have to deal with modest. And really modest meals for a while. I'm sorry, but I can't take you out for meals for a while. 
<laughs> Why? Are you okay, Nori? I don't have enough money, and Miss Issa already paid for two months of my salary in advance. So, you have to make do with what they are available at home until my salary receive it. Oh, okay. You mean the food from this kitchen? You say that, but Miss Issa is very strict with food calories and how much everyone eats. It's also the reason why I start eating outside by myself and said it feels freer. What kind of food does Miss Easter eat? You are a little girl with sidecar. She only eats two meals a day. Her meals mostly consist of toast, nuts, seeds, fruit, and cheese. Toast, nuts, seed, fruits, and seeds, and cheese. Okay, those are yummy too. Instead of four, seven, six, or even <laughs> real life. No, 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 no. You cannot eat more than one. No, probably two servings of each meal at a time. You hear her, girl. You hear Oscar. You cannot have more meals than one serving. Continue. Pause. She will kick us. Okay. That only be enough food to get the address of my friend. Why? Right, let me try again. It seems like people's magic is really sauce. Intensive. I guess real magic isn't as convenient as it appears in fairy tales. I guess you'll have to wait for um, around two months so I can take you out again. Well, have to live with Oli for a while then. Miss Sister is returning today. Oh no, this means we can't solve the ghost problem until after she comes back. Oh, not your fault, Pippa. You've done a lot. We'll talk to her about this. I hope she will be in a good mood after her short trip. It's disappointing, but there's nothing much I can do about it. I've done everything within my power. Yeah, we've done everything within our power. Only being the culprit behind all this is surprising, but I'm just glad it wasn't anything scary. Well, I guess if I leave this place, Ollie will have no reason to keep visiting anyway. I am the only one who chaos this mess. I am the one who chaos this mess. Ah, oh, I think Miss Easter will love Ollie. She's the cutest, and she's such a good, good girl. No, Miss Easter hated Ollie so much. When Ollie was a dog, a uh, living dog, she did similar things. It was quite a chore to stop Ollie from running here, ruining her garden. I was run ragged trying to prevent <laughs> that. I was run rage trying to prevent that. Oh, okay, all he did was trouble some dog also the same as Pippa. But playing with Ollie, blah blah blah, brought us so much joy. I was happy. I wanted Ollie to be happy too and free, even though she's a ghost now. But Ollie is a really, really nice doggy. If you can explain this to Miss Easter, she'll understand. Will she understand? Actually, it's probably better if we just don't give her any details about the ghost. You don't need to tell her anything. She really anti supernatural stuff. Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> I like that expression. Expression. I just want to make sure that Ollie behave herself. If she stops making messes, Miss Easter won't kick me out. Even better, I think she'll also let you stay. Hmm. Huh. Is that all you need for Ollie to behave till we are able to invite my friend over to take care of her? That would be the best case in this situation. Ah, oh, that's easy. Really? You say that's easy? Really? Yes, Kitty can tell Ollie to behave. Ollie seems to listen to her. So it should be easy peasy. Easy peasy. Doesn't it sound so cool to have a ghost friend? It's been... Better with Ollie. She looks like she's having a lot of fun. I will think of some fun activities so we can do with her ghostly hide and seek, ghostly tag, ghostly race. Oh, okay, there you go. She's going to imagine all a kind of thing. This is so exciting. That would be great. It will be great since you can see the ghost and everything as long as she doesn't ruin anything. Ollie should be sleeping somewhere now. 
I'm crossing my fingers hard, hoping everything will go smooth after Miss Easter comes back. A few hours later. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nori, where are you? I'm here, ma'am. Welcome back. Hello, Miss Easter. Hello, Miss Easter. Viva, please. Don't do anything to upset her. <laughs> I just hope that she doesn't do it. My, I my, I didn't. Now we have a guest here. Who are you? Are you Nori, friends? Nori's friend. Pippa is here. I am a witch. Uh, what? Oh, oh no. I completely forgot the most important thing to tell Pippa. It's never revealed her identity to Miss Easter. How oh, good. I mean, how oh, coincident. Uh, she means I'm mean, dressing up as a witch. Uh, she cosplay. She's a uh, love dresses. Because what that? Yes, yeah, just follow my lead. I suppose I have seen many children dressing up as a witch in my way back home. I suppose it is that time of the year, Halloween, I guess. Yeah, exactly. People love dressing. Yeah, she loved dressing. Uh, yes, exactly, Viva. <sighs> Good thing she didn't panic. I love cute dresses. They make me really happy. You say that's cute. It is cute in a way. Oh, your dress looks really, really, really pretty, Miss Ethan. Oh my, I see what you have. Discerning eye. Yeah, she has a good eye, girl, uh, woman. You remind me of my teacher. She also dresses really, really well. Are you a witch too, Miss Isa? Pippa, excuse me? You dress so stylish and you are very elegant. There is no doubt about you. You must be a witch, Pippa. She is blotting the words out of... Okay, I didn't prepare myself for this. The worst case, I thought it would be case out of... This is the end of me. <gasps> Such as outrageous words have just entered my poor air. ears. My head. <sighs> okay, she's fainting now. Miss Isa, are you okay? Uh, it's alright, I'm here. Let's get you to the sofa. Pipa, this is the second time Miss Isa has come over all lightheaded. The first time was when the ghost buster came over. It took a while for Miss Isa to recover from that. I had to convince her that everyone was human. Oh no. It's Miss Easter. Okay, people, please, please, don't make a mess. Don't worry, Nori. With magic, I can't fail to make a simple cup of... No magic in the house. Please. People. She is simple-minded. Oh, this girl. Okay. Just help me. Get Miss Easter blanket in her room upstairs, please. You can count on me. Oh, Pippa. A few days later. Okay, is Miss Easter okay? Let's just hope she's okay now and doing fine. Nori, Nori. What is it, ma'am? Look at this. There, is, there are pieces of paper scattering all over the place. This is so unsightly. <laughs> Why did you leave the room like this? This is definitely Pippa's doing. She said that she'd been learning some magic skills to help Miss Easter. But these drawings, they don't look like magic circles at all. It is Ollie, uh, Ollie and Kitty. They look like Kitty and Ollie. Yes, they are Kitty and Ollie. But I get the magic. Uh, Ma'am, I'll clean this place right up. I'll tell Pippa to be. Yeah, yeah. That brat. She said she was going to help me fix some of my old broken statues. Where is she? <laughs> it's not even halfway fixed. Also, what's with her and food? She keeps saying that she is hungry. Cause uh, she's such a greedy and mannered lady. I'm starting to regret letting her stay. Uh, I will make sure she behaves herself. Thinking back on it, it was almost unbelievable that Miss Easter, although not fully sincere, was impressed with Pippa. I told her that Pippa was the one who figured out the identity of the culprit who kept sowing her house. Sorry. I decided to leave out to, uh, to the finder details, however, that the culprit was only from beyond the grave. I thought it better 
for Miss Issa's sake. Yeah, we do not go in detail with that. One of the one of people's specialties is surprising people sincerely, and it seemed like her earnest had endeared even Miss Issa. Oh yeah, she is at g giving compliments. Although Miss Easter goes back and forth between liking and hating Viva, but she still let her stay here. Yeah, good thing she's staying. She letting her stay because uh, yeah. Tell her to come to my room. I need her to sort my jewelry collection by the colors today. Yes, ma'am. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen Viva since morning. What is that troublesome witch? Pippa, where are you? She, she's probably outside. Since she can't eat that much, she won't be able to use her magic. Nori, look at this garden. It's so beautiful. Don't touch Miss Easter garden, please. Pippa, she will kick you out for real if you do. Don't worry. I told her I'm going to help this garden survive through the winter. With a just pinch of magic. Uh, keep that secret, okay? Please. Just make sure to not ruin the garden, girl. By the way, where is Kitty? She's with Ollie, somewhere in the garden. Isn't Ollie asleep? It's 17.30, I think it's still not fully dark. She's been awake up earlier because she has friends to play with. That means we can spend more time together. Yay. Okay, that's make you happy, I guess. Oh, we are you free now. Let's chill on the backyard, Nori. We all want to do some stargazing together. Stargazing, you say? <sighs> the weather is very nice today. Okay, fine, we're gonna go. Stargazing, the sky. I'm starting to get used to the new life of mine, even with all the mischief people get up to. Miss Isar has been nagging me more these days because of people, though. Ollie prison still freaks me out, but I'm glad to know that she's been having fun. Okay, it's honestly kind of crazy that I've been living with a witch, a talking dog, and a ghost. It's insane. And a nagging grandma. <laughs> it is good. A ghost, a witch, and the talking dog. We cannot do anything. It is crazy. It's even crazier that Miss Issa still hasn't worked out that anything wrong. Okay, which is good. It is doing good for us. I've been able to keep my job and even better. I now have a bunch of eccentric friends. My days have been much more lively as a result. I'm looking forward to having more fun days with them. Probably without any more messes. A uh, new normal ending to living with a witch, talking dog, and a friendly ghost. Sorry, art programming. Oh, okay, soundtrack, Conway Dalton, Dalton, Attic. Okay, there you go, guys. We got the second ending. For me, I prefer the second ending because uh, it's no problem living with a ghost and a witch and a talking dog. It's far more interesting than just. Uh, watching them leave you alone with Miss Easter because she she keep nagging on us whenever there is a problem, which is I don't like it either. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope I can see you in my next video. Bye bye. Yeah, there you go. Pippa is Pippa and your fantasmal problem. Don't forget to check on my other videos. Leave a like and subscribe to help me out. Each more viewers. Bye bye. Ta ta.